On the 25th of April, 1950, Boston Celtics picked up Chuck Cooper in the second round, making him the first ever African American to get drafted into the NBA. But there was more to the story than that. Celtics owner Walter Brown knew well of Cooper coming into the NBA draft, but was warned by his fellow owners to not draft him due to the color of his skin. But instead of succumbing to his peers, Brown said, I don't give a damn if he's plaid, striped, or polka dot. Boston takes Chuck Cooper of Duquesne. Later on, Cooper will be joined by Earl. Lloyd and Nat Clifton, being the first three African Americans to play in the NBA. And it was not all a smooth ride, as the chair were discriminating wherever they went. They were even barred from entering some hotels and restaurants with their teammates. Cooper would retire seven years later, and retired as a member of the Fort Wayne Pistons. Cooper, Lloyd, and Clifton walked so that those today could run.